Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. My name is Callie and this is the first video of clarinets and cats and wait, what is it called again? Good morning everyone and happy Saturday. Today's video is super special. It's the first video on my channel of the year 2021 and it also is the first video of clarinets cats and coffee for the year 2021 Woohoo! so welcome back i hope you all had a great holiday season and happy new year now in today's video i am going to give you guys a couple of little tips one really big tip to kind of help bring your embouchure in and and get a really clean smooth pretty beautiful sound now before we do that, I want to let you guys know that I made a practice calendar for the month of July. Um, I'm going to include a link to that below and it'll link you to my website and you can just download it from there. And it'll have a schedule of most of the videos I will be making this month. Um, however, you know, I might put up a couple random other ones. But anyway, it has a basic schedule of all the videos that are coming out this month. And you'll see that one of the big things I'll be doing over the next few weeks after today is working on the Weber Concertino. Now I'm going to be including little excerpts of it each week and just some practice tips. So, you know, if if it's too hard for you, you can take those tips and apply it to something else. Um, but if it's right at your level, then great. You'll learn it little by little, week after week over the next few weeks with me. But today we're actually going to play a duet. Now, the embouchure tip that I want to tell you guys about, um, it really is... It's really come from, um, you know, over the past um, few months of teaching online, um, you know, I get all of these like great close-up videos of my students, right? And I can, I can like really see their embouchure because like, you know, they're using like FaceTime on their phones or they've got the Zoom camera like right there, you know, so I can get a really good look at their faces and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of like kind of loose, lazy embouchures every so often. And I think like once we know the basics of a good embouchure, bottom lip over bottom peak chin, flat corners in, top lip down, just slightly forward, those, those basic tips, a lot of times we don't really think too much about life after that you know like what do you do how do you refine it is there is there a point where you're doing too much well yeah if it's if it's you'll know if you're doing it too much right because it's it'll it'll sound bad but this is all like all of these tips are are with the purpose of just keeping everything very tight and compact against the bone structure of your face okay so i want you guys to imagine before you play you're gonna suck everything in and you're gonna just like create a vacuum seal between your cheeks and your gums and your teeth and you should be able to really feel like the space between your teeth against your cheeks you may feel your teeth up here and down here and stuff like that and and that's a good thing because it'll help you get a really clean clear sound going straight like all your air is gonna go straight at the reed right embouchure is so important so you know, you bake, make your basic embouchure, bottom lip over bottom teeth, corners and chin really flat. It's not just like flat, it's like against your jawbone flat, right? And your corners, everything going forward. And then before you play, I want you to make sure you have no spit left in your mouth. And no spit in your reed. So just suck it all in. And you know, if you're, if you're not really comfortable with that you could try you know just like imagining your your breathing in through a straw kind of thing right and then you set your embouchure and that should keep everything just kind of glued in so you can really just blow a straight stream of air <sighs> know it's it's always gonna be a work in progress you know you can still sound pretty good and have kind of a lazy embouchure but like the idea is to really refine the embouchure and really keep everything kind of built around the bone structure of your face and kind of up against that um, to give your face you know kind of like that anchor point um, 
you know, when you play. So you'll always have something to like strive for and to, and to make better. So to recap, suck everything in, create a vacuum seal between your gums and your teeth, and then form your embouchure with the basics we know how, sucking all the spit one more time, and then play. <sighs> of cake right okay so I have three super easy duets um, I want to kind of give you guys a chance to really put this into practice and not choose something super hard with a whole bunch of crazy articulation or anything like that so these are from the close say method um, there's a C major one F major one G major one so we get a little practice and our different key signatures and I will be taking all of the repeats and we're not going to be going super crazy fast so I'll do a reference recording of each one first and then I'll eliminate each part and you get to play whatever part you want okay so I hope you guys have fun playing these with me I know I enjoyed recording them so have a great time and yeah enjoy
right, guys, that was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed playing along with me. Leave a comment below if you had a good time. Now, patrons, you guys are going to get an MP3 file of this, so you guys can just kind of download it and keep it with you and play along with me whenever you want. Everyone else, enjoy playing along with this video. If you want to download this, these duets, you can do so at the link below. It goes right to my website. This is available for everybody to download, so, so you all can have have fun and, and do what you like, even record yourself if you want, you know? And, and in the meantime, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to grab your part for the Weber Concertino for next weekend. And in the meantime, happy practicing.